Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Judicious Fire. I'm on the iOS server. It's going to be a very brief video. I just want to look at something that I uh, have used as a reference point uh, for a number of years in Castle Clash. Uh, I was able to get the updated version passed on to me by Enigmatic over at uh, the Android server. He has a YouTube channel. Uh, he puts up some amazing Warden Archdemon uh, videos. Also, I have not created this document. Please look at the credit notes at the bottom. I'm just simply passing along this document. Uh, this is a list of the fastest heroes in Castle Clash, and I'll explain that in a, in a moment. Uh, this uh, series of updates on uh, documents such as, as this have come eh, primarily from Reddit. Uh, they, I had the May version, May uh, 2018 version, it was going off of that and thinking to myself, oh gosh, when are they going to put out another one? Well, here's now the October 9th, 2018 version. And uh, it's got, uh, I think this is the most recent one. It's got a uh, list of the heroes in the game and how much DPS they're capable of achieving. And DPS is going to stand for damage per second. This is against one opponent. So if the Arch Demon is in front of you, that's one opponent. Uh, an entire board full of uh, heroes, uh, like in a Guild Wars scenario, that would be multiple opponents, and this chart would not apply. But if you're taking on a boss uh, in, a, in Guild Life, if you're taking on Arch Demon, if you're taking on uh, a single goblin in the uh, Labyrinth, uh, this chart can be very, very helpful. We are considering every one of these heroes to be buffed to their extreme. These are fully upgraded versions of the heroes we're talking about, and we're also using Pumpkin Duke to get them to attack as quickly as possible. So that's being given uh, in these uh, calculations. Also, we're looking at how, mu how many hits, uh, single hits, single attacks against uh, a stationary single target uh, can occur in 10 seconds. So our timeline or horizon is 10 seconds. Uh, and we're also c calculating Gunslinger, Trixie Treat, and Dove Keeper based on, their, on how quickly they summon their little uh, helpers in combat. Okay, so all that given, let's boil it down to brass tacks here. Number one in the game is Gunslinger. Why? She puts out a whole bunch of copters. It counts as multiple heroes in battle. She's doing 240 hits against a stationary single target in 10 seconds. So if you want to do well in terms of upping your scores in uh, Archdemon uh, or in the boss battles, uh, take along a Gunslinger. And depending on the demon you're fighting, she can be very, very helpful to the tune of 240. Trixie Treat is also someone who spawns. This is the... the uh, pattern that we're achieving here. She's going to put out a whole bunch of little pumpkies doing 176 hits on average with a pumpkin duke at her side in 10 seconds. Dove's going to put out some love doves. She counts as multiple heroes. 169 uh, hits in 10 seconds. Beast Tamer puts out a uh, carries into combat with him a, uh, a grizzly bear. Okay, counts as two heroes. So already Dublin what uh, a single hero can achieve in most circumstances. Now we get the Medusa, who's all by herself, but she's got incredible DPS. And we know now that this is a, uh, she's the fifth uh, highest hero in the game. Storm Meter being uh, sixth. Espirita, who does uh, spawn, has two heroes, but her attack rate is pretty low. And you can see the chart as it goes down and down and down. To lowest DPS's in the game, we get down to uh, a Paladin, uh, Cupid. Uh, we get down to I'm looking at the final row now, right above the credits. Uh, a Triantar, very low number of hits uh, in a 10 second time frame. Uh, Ice Demon will go four down. Ice Demon having the the slowest attack on this chart. Now we get to the final seven. And I just want to talk about those real quick and then I'll sign off. Uh, Sunder. It is letting you know that the talent Sunder at full upgrade is going to, de to deliver 
60 hits on average in a 10 second period because Sunder can produce an extra hit in combat. Uh, it's going to tell you right away that that's a great talent, the, the primary talent to use to get as many hits or DPS in, in battle. Uh, a summons. That means your enchantment of Pyre Mage, Blade Knight, or Divine Templar will produce those many, 40 hits, in a 10 second time, time frame. In terms of damage, Pyre Mage puts out the most damage. Blade Knight second, Divine Templar third. Uh, but if you want to put a summons on uh, a Gunslinger, for example, then you're going to get Gunslinger's 240 plus a summons for 40 as well. Uh, the Talent Slowdown 8 has a chance to trigger an extra hit coming to the tune of, on average, 20 hits per 10 seconds. Uh, a Slowdown anywhere at level 1 to 5 is going to produce 12.5. Heavy Blow at level 8 is not as efficient as Slow Down at 8. It's going to give you 12.5 hits in a 10 second time frame. Just that talent alone stacked on to any of these heroes. So Heavy Blow 1 to 5 being a little bit less efficient and Deadly Strike being the least efficient. So you can take a look at this document if this is your thing in Castle Clash. If you want to be able to get the most number of hits per second. Uh, and really get those high scores up, then you might, and I'm just throwing this out there based on this uh, on this chart, you would put a, a Gunslinger with maybe a Pyre Mage Summons and maybe the uh, Talent of Sunder, and all of a sudden you've got yourself uh, an amazing multi-hero team, but it's only one hero in combat. Keep doing that six times, and you've now all of a sudden you've got yourself a team that's scoring into the millions, if not billions. I hope this helps, uh, and I hope that uh, some of these uh, numbers are going to get you excited about <laughs> some of the nerdier aspects of Castle Clash, but also some of the most useful. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. I'll check you later. Bye-bye.